Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Landed No Streetwalks. I'm here today at the summit. Look at that view over there. Eh? That's looking right over towards Penma Mauer, Lamberbecken, all the way up there. And that takes you onwards up the coast there, towards Carnarvon, and all the way around. And over there is Anglesey. And Puffin Island. Slightly overcast today, but still a good view, look. There's the farm shop down there. Cups of tea. Don't mention lamb, though. I'll show you some of the sheep up here. There's no goats here, because they're all in town, eating everybody's flowers. <laughs> A yeah, slight, slight bit of a haze today, but it's still hope you can make out over there. And that takes you over this way to Conway. Down there is the old quarry there. And over here <coughs> we have the tram station. And they got a little uh, visitor centre there, if you want to pop in and see that. I think it's free to go in. Might be, might be wrong, but I'm sure it is free to go in. You have to pay to park up here, but don't think it's much. It's worth it. And we'll have a walk up now and have a look at the summit complex up there. Yeah, it was originally a signalling station between Hollyhead and Liverpool. So the signal would go from Hollyhead to here, then to Liverpool, or vice versa, to inform each other of the ships coming in and what have you. And it was also used to relay messages during the Second World War. And then it was transformed in 1909 into a hotel, which was built, I think it was an eight bedroom hotel, and it was built to accommodate golfers that used to come and stay here, because believe it or not, there was a, a full golf course up here. And um, all the kids that lived on the Orm used to come up here and get paid to be a caddy for the day. So, come the <clears throat> outbreak of World War II, it was commandeered, as I say, I think, for use for um, signal, signalling purposes or what have you. Cafe there. Used to be run by Forte's, that. I don't know if it still is. It's your crazy golf. And a nice view over there. Well, you couldn't get a better day filming. I will have a stroll up here. Can we go? I can't get in that way. I'll have to go round. I think you can still walk round this way. Make a change and then I'll come back through the other way. If we can't, if we can't, well there we go. I don't know if we'll be able to see it from here. But down the lower half of this side of the Orm. It's a place called Pink Farm, which used to, I think it started off doing sandwiches and drinks and stuff for people. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's, yeah, I think it's further over, further over that way, I'd say.
And a boat out there, fishing boat, I think. And all, I don't know if you can make out the wind farms there. You can normally see them with a night lit up. And if we go around this way, I'll have to go down the bottom again <laughs> and up the steps. Exercise, so don't complain. Yeah, we did uh, going back, oh, maybe maybe 30 years ago, I remember. Me and Oxford did quite a few gigs up here for um, Ronnie Forte. Don't know if he's still running the place, but... There are some good old nights in there. And he, he, he could tell when he'd, he'd, had, he'd had a few sherbets, because he'd... He'd send the girl up from the, behind the bar and ask you to to carry on playing longer <laughs> for a few extra bob, and then then a taxi would turn up with a huge bin liner full of uh, Chinese food. <laughs> we had to walk down sometimes, and also that's a killer, killer, killer on your toes. That is when you're walking downhill for a long time. But there we go. It's all good fun. Here we go, here's the the tram station and as I say the visitor centre. If we go around this way you can go up the path then to well, I'll just cross the grass here. It's no sign saying keep off the grass. <laughs> well, the goats and the sheep have certainly been using it. So I'll try not to step in that. There's a little ice cream shop there, hot dogs and all that sort of thing. And benches up here, a lot of people come here for the picnics and that. Oh yeah, it looks, this is uh, it's definitely closed off up here. But I can have a look over the fence. It's a shame this is gone now. I don't know if it's closed permanently. Uh, saying a cafe there, but you, but the gates are all locked, so I don't know how you're supposed to get in there for a cup of tea. Well, I've sat out here upside here many a time having a pint of Guinness. Yeah, and in there, and that used to be Turpin's Bar, which is run by the boxer, world famous boxer Randolph Turpin. And he opened this place, I think, in 1952. He was from uh, Warwickshire, I believe, Warwickshire area. And inside there, they've got a, they had a full display there of all the boxing pictures and pictures of his belts and the trophies. There's a plaque there, but as I say, you can't, can't get around there to see it. Yeah, Randolph Turpin, sadly, took his own life in 1966. There's a bit of a Bit of a troubled soul, I believe, towards the end of his life. But this is hard to imagine. This is a hotel for the golfers, isn't it? There's the tram. Not a cracking view. A lot of people like coming here to. Um, don't know if you can make it out over there. They they like to come up and put their names, names of loved ones, and things like that. It's the cross there for Easter. go. Right, so make my way back down here. I hope that you've enjoyed some of that, being a bit more informative for you. And I've done the filming of the drive up the Orm. It's a bit wobbly, but couldn't be helped. A bit like me now. <laughs> Lots of little potholes in that here. I'm trying not to fall over. So I don't want to break any bones or my gimbal. I would be upset. Yeah, a lot of families. Here now. Nice to see them all enjoying themselves.
Yeah, I'll give you one last view up there, the summit complex. Well, I'd love to see that open again as a bar. It was really good. It used to say, I've mentioned on previous videos, you can, you can come up here. Well, there it is, look. The 26 Great Orm Summit Bus, which is also called the Circular Bus. You can get that in town. I think it comes up here every hour, so you could have an hour or so up here. Crazy golf for the kids or have a cup of tea. Be cheaper for you all on the tram, I'll say that. Make a right noise. Huh? Anyway. I'll end this one here with a view out over the sea. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios amigos.